Now to a CBS2 investigates. Service on the CTA's yellow line is still suspended four days after a collision on Thursday that left 38 people injured. Investigators believe it was the result of a design flaw with the braking system. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is asking whether other parts of the CTA system might also be operating under the flawed design. So far, the National Transportation Safety Board and CTA have not been able to answer that important question. And today we learned it'll still be two to three weeks before we see that preliminary report with more details on how and why it happened. You have 38 people that were injured. Uh, and then you don't want to minimize that incident by any stretch of the imagination. You want to give it the importance that it needs. Dr. Pia Siraj, director of the Urban Transportation Center at UIC, tells me he's not surprised to see service has yet to be resumed on the city's yellow line after this scene on Thursday. The view from Chopper 2 Monday shows the smashed up train car is no longer resting in the spot where the inbound yellow line train collided with the piece of equipment that's known as a snow fighter machine. NTSB said the apparent design flaw has to do with the automatic braking system, that the CTA was operating on out-of-date information, and their stopping length should have been almost 1,000 feet longer. The CTA was aware of the snow equipment on the tracks when the train slammed into it. In all, 38 people, 31 passengers, and seven CTA employees on the train were hurt. Now the question is how do we move forward from that point on, and how do we fix it? The real question is whether the design flaw is limited to the yellow line or if other parts of the CTA system might be operating under the old design. On Saturday, the NTSB said it's unclear, and on Monday, a spokesperson said they have no update for us at this time. We asked the CTA that question too, but we're told the CTA is currently unable to discuss the specifics of the ongoing investigation. Dr. Siraj tells me it's unlikely that other lines have the same sort of breaking flaw, because we probably would be hearing about these types of incidents more often. At that frequency, at that rate of exposure, it would have led to numerous other incidents or close incidents. Siraj said riders should take some relief from that fact. And while service is down on the yellow line, there continues to be a shuttle between Howard and Skokie Dempster during normal hours of operation. In Evanston, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators.